Hey, hey, beautiful people. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Either way, we found each other and I'm so glad we did. So today's video is not going to be a rant. It's not going to be about Trisha, Jeffrey, Shane, or Rylan, or Morgan for that matter. I just thought that I would do like the top five things. It's just the top five that I can think of off the top of my head. That has been said to me because I'm blind or because I am critically ill. These are five of the dumbest things I've ever been said. Not I've ever been said. That has ever been told to me. Okay. And if you hear any background noise, that's my heater. We all know that the bitch freezes to death. If you don't know this by now, hello, my name is Courtney Shea, and I freeze to death constantly. Thank you and good night. So, number one. This one right here. I was probably about 15 and this was like my first or second time meeting my stepbrother's now ex-wife but then wife or fiance and we were folding laundry and she had the audacity and the nerve and the stupidity to say I know that blind people can feel color feel color okay don't get me wrong my fingers I got some really good fingers you know they're good for multiple things whether I'm going like this going like this going like this my fingers are good for many things but I cannot pick up this hairbrush right now without knowing and tell you that this is blue I cannot pick up sorry I was sitting on it Damn it, I'm still standing on it. I am like the worst person ever. I could not pick this up and tell you that this is black. What I can tell you is that this is made of cotton. I know different in fabrics. I can tell you silk, velvet, leather, cotton, faux leather. Yeah, I can do that. But as far as feeling color, nah, bitch. Can't feel no color. If... I could feel color, and if blind people could feel color, then they wouldn't have these little machine things that you could hook up, and it tells you what color everything is, which I don't have one of those because I'm not that blessed, but a lot of people do have them. So if you see me out, and I'm rocking yellow pants and a red shirt, which probably will never happen in my life, but if it does, just go on. Don't mind your business. Don't worry about it. Because it just happens that maybe I thought that those jeans were blue and not yellow or something. Okay. But when she said that, the whole living room just went quiet. And my mom looked at her like, are you serious right now? And she was dead ass serious. Dead ass serious. But no. Myth busted. Blind people cannot feel color. Or at least I can't. Number two, so when I was critically ill, I had to wear what we're wearing now every single day, what everyone is wearing now, I had to wear that before and after a kidney transplant because my immune system is so low that I had to wear masks. The one time I saw the same receptionist, because I was there like every week, the one time that this receptionist saw me, she goes, You know, you're actually really pretty without that mask on. It's a shame. Bitch, what? Is that a backhanded compliment? Like, what kind of compliment is that? You're actually pretty without that mask on? Oh, it's a shame? What's a shame? That I look good? Is it a shame that I'm sick and look good? I don't know why people correlate the fact that good-looking people can't have things wrong with them. I know so many gorgeous beautiful, sexy people that have things wrong with them. So, don't be like, I hate when people say that. It's like, oh, you're, you're too pretty to be sick. That's number three. Heard that one too. You're too pretty to be sick. You're too pretty to be blind. I don't correlate that. I don't get how looks and illness and impairment can, how that even 
coexist? How does that correlate in people's brains? Like, do you think that only ugly people get sick? Do only ugly people be blind? Are only ugly people deaf? No. There's some stunning, badass bitches out here that look great. No, they look great. Have the confidence. It's not cocky. It's confidence. And know that, you know, I'm still sick and I'm still blind, but I know that I'm my beauty and that does not correlate all right number four this one was from my daughter this is really sweet actually so i was bitching about all the lights being turned off and me pinballing my way through my own house and um my daughter <laughs> said yeah but you can hear and feel really good and I was like, yes, I can, but I still need light to see. And then she goes, you know, you kind of have superpowers. You can feel, you can hear, and you can taste and smell better than we can, but you're blind. And that's exactly how she said it. It was so cute. It was so stupid, but it was like so cute. So apparently, according to my daughter, I have superpowers. So thank you. <laughs> number four this is the time that I got rejected for being blind this is the time that a guy told me that he enjoyed fucking me but he could never have a relationship with me because I was blind and that he could not handle that kind of situation he could not handle me not being able to do certain things that normal quote unquote normal people can do but you know what? I can do a lot of things that a quote unquote normal person can't do. So I think that it's a double edged sword. But I thought this would just be a cute little fun video to make. Um, don't say these things to a blind person or a critically ill person because you're going to look like a dumbass. Oh, plus one right here. Never. Never. Tell somebody that is blind or visually impaired, hey, that's over there. Never say that. Pet peeve 101. Do not tell me something is over there when I don't know where there is. Do you understand? Do you understand me? Are you listening to me? Do not tell me, oh, the remote to the TV is over there. Oh, your glasses are over there. Oh, this is over there. Because, bitch, I don't know where there is. You're going to have to give me a map, directions, north, south, east, west, south, east, south, west, whatever. You're going to have to draw me out a map and let me know exactly where it is so I'm not in the floor going with my hand trying to find something looking like a moron. Okay? Just tell me specifically where something is. If I say, hey, where's that clothes basket? Don't say over there. Say, it's in such and such room at such and such place. You will find it there. Never, never, never tell a blind person, oh, it's over there. I'm sorry. I'm very passionate about this. I cannot stand when someone says this to me. So, yeah. Don't say that to a blind person. All right, you guys. I guess you've heard enough of me rambling on and on and on. And uh, love you guys. See you in the next one.